Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a magic review. Hey, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for being here. We got a really big, super awesome magic review for you because that's how we roll around here. Uh, big product, big product, popular product. I'm surprised more people aren't talking about this. I really am because this thing is awesome. It's awesome. I love this. I love this. I really want to thank the good people down at hocus-pocus.com for allowing me to have this. This is Gregory Wilson, Murphy's Magic, teaming up together for Split Focus. What is Split Focus? Split Focus is a variety of very visual, very memorable coin routines that look like you're doing a special effect. Like when your coins vanish and appear, it doesn't look like misdirection. It really looks like you are splitting the atom right in front of the spectator. They really feel like they're seeing an appearance and a vanish over and over again. And to be quite honest, if you were doing this without gimmicks, this is the kind of coin magic that would take you years of practice in front of a mirror. But these precision made gimmicks are gonna do all the work for you. In addition to the gorgeously handcrafted gimmick coins you receive, you will also get access to an arsenal of just a huge pile of routines taught by Greg Wilson at the Murphy's Magic Studio. You can buy this as a Morgan silver dollar replica or a Eisenhower replica. And I'm gonna start off by saying it's $200. It is $200, $200 bucks. But I think through the course of this review, I'm gonna be able to make my case. Uh, the prop is so beautiful. It is so beautiful. And the fact that uh, these coins do exactly what you want them to do, it's gonna last you forever. These are the coin props you will use for the rest of your magic career. All right, let's say you go down to hocus-pocus.com, you pay your $200, what are you gonna get? You're gonna get a really nice box, slides out of a little paper cover. Inside that, you're gonna get the three-in-one gaff. You will get a matching ungaffed coin. I think it's a real coin. I think it's a real coin. Uh, you'll get a magnetic holdout that you can wear on your back pocket. Kind of looks like a bill clip. You'll also get a little purse to put the coins in, and you'll get the download link and password to the instructional videos. Is it what I thought? Well, yes. I mean, I think they're pretty open and forthcoming in the ad copy about what you're getting. So no surprise there. And I've had coins like this before, but never at this caliber. And I think one of the things that, uh, and I'll just go throw this in with, is it well made? I'll throw these in together. One of the things I've always not liked about gimmick coins is when you get them in the mail uh, and you open them up, they're so shiny. They're so new and pristine looking. They don't look like uh, a real coin. And sometimes when they hit another object or they hit themselves, they kind of like have a tang sound and they don't sound like real coins. Real coins have a sound and a feel. Real dollar bills have a feel. And most of the time when you get fakes, it's very, very obvious and not so with these coins. They look vintage right out of the box. For all I know, they are. I mean, they could have used, I mean, they probably did. They probably used real coins. I don't know. They say they're replicas. They look so good. They look so good and they feel so good. Uh, you'll, you'll swear you were holding the real thing. How are the angles on this? The angles are great too. Um, and, and Greg spends a lot of time talking about uh, the angles and how this looks when you're doing the magic. To be honest, it even looks like magic on your end behind you. Um, probably not to, I mean, I'm, I, I say that loosely, obviously you'll see what's going on, but uh, there's really no bad angles with this. I mean, obviously you don't want people behind you, but the way Greg has timed the misdirection, I think everything just weaves together beautifully. Can it be inspected? Obviously some coins can't, some coins are very gimmicked, but others can. So depending on which coin you have at the time, yeah, they can be inspected. All right, so what's the overall quality and production value of the videos? Um, for the live shots, because there are some live shots, it looks like Gregory filled this at the same time as he's done some other Murphy's Magic products. Um, the same locations, I think sometimes even the same spectators. So probably filmed, uh, this, there's that uh, coffee shop, I think he's at a Starbucks. And then there's like an outdoor restaurant that he's at. 
Um, the live shots though are only for, I think like first three or four routines and the bonus trick and the rest are all shot in the Murphy's Magic Studio. Uh, blue background, no music, well mic'd, everything's well shot. Uh, Javier Fuemer comes out every now and then and is, is his assistant when he needs an assistant. So they're beautifully shot. As far as what they're gonna teach you, there's gonna be an introduction, which is five minutes long. The first trick is called double play and it's 13 minutes long. This is where a coin appears and then it splits into two, then down to one and then it's gone. It's a standard follow the coin routine and it felt a lot like his pen routine pointless but just done with coins. The next trick is called triple play. It's very similar to double play but this time instead of just having uh, a one two count he's going to all the way to three and then down to zero. The next trick is called IQ test. It's 12 minutes long and again, similar to double play, but he does this with a coin purse and he has the coins vanish out of the purse and then go back in. Next is a trick called lucky coin. This file is 15 minutes long and it's a routine where he says that he can call heads or tails in the air and be accurate 100% of the time. The next trick is called force perspective. It's five minutes long. Uh, he spins a coin in his hands uh, right in front of the spectator and while they're staring at it, it becomes two and then he keeps spinning and it goes back down to one and then he takes a step backwards and as he does so, both coins vanish. Now this is where all uh, the tricks are now shot at Murphy's Magic. There's no more live shots from this point and he has Javier Fuemer join him. The next trick is called Dollar Scene and this is an eight minute file. He puts a coin in the opposite hand one at a time. So he should have two coins in one hand. He removes one and then the other hand coin vanishes. Now he's down to one coin. He puts that in the hand, removes nothing, and now he shows both hands clean. The next trick is called out of the pocket experience. It's seven minutes long. It's a beautiful coin outside of pocket. It jumps inside. They can see the outline of it. They can touch it. They can feel it. It pops out and then it completely vanishes from sight. The next trick is called two buck tango. It's seven minutes long. He has two coins. They both become folded bills. And then he takes the two bills, puts them in the spectator's hand, they close it and open it, and the two bills meld together into a $2 bill. Next up is grandfather math. It's a very short file, four minutes long. He has three coins in the hand. He removes one and grandfather math, they all vanish. Then he teaches silver lining. This is a nine minute file. He produces two coins from a folded silver certificate bill. And then one at a time, he puts them back in invisibly and they vanish. The next trick is called kick pocket. It's 10 minutes long. It's another coin to pocket routine. The next trick is called bet your bottom dollar. It's a 13 minute file. He steals a coin out from underneath a coffee lid right under the spectator's nose. I really liked this trick. Then there's a bonus trick at the end called headshot. It's nine minutes long. It's a simple uh, coin appearance gag uh, where a coin falls out of midair into the spectator's hand. Pocket space, of course, on these is very minimal. I mean, they're all just large dollar size coins uh, and they all lock together. They all nest together. However, I want to say that without giving it away. So it's really not going to take up that much space unless you're carrying the purse in addition to that or you have some other props. How much practice does this require? Uh, like I said at the top of this, these look like routines that took forever to learn. They look like routines that you spent hours and hours and hours practicing, but there's really no difficult slights in this. The, really the only thing that's, that you, know, you would add a slight to is there's just you know, false transfers and you can do your own false transfer, Greg's gonna teach you some, and misdirection. So it's false transfers, misdirection, and just remembering the routines. Set up and reset, there really isn't any either. Uh, there's nothing to where you'd have to go backstage and like, you know, how you have to get out of bang ring or something like that. You don't need to do anything like that. All right, so positives. What are the positives? Great props, great routines, and these are tricks that I could do. This coming from someone who doesn't do coin magic, these tricks got me excited about coin magic. Negatives, all right, so what are the negatives to split focus? Um, 200 bucks to drop, right? And I really felt that there needed to be some more variety in the tricks. Now, from what I've heard, from what I've heard, 
uh, there are more tricks coming. Because of COVID, the pandemic, I think sometimes uh, filming got shut down. And so there's things that are being worked on. They're going to be uploaded later. Um, that's what I heard. But as of right now, there probably aren't as many tricks as they promised. And, or at least at the time of, of this filming. Um, a lot of the tricks Greg taught just felt the same. You know, it just felt like they were variations on the same theme. I really loved the coin and pocket trick, the pickpocket one. That was awesome. I loved that because it involved like a new element, like it was his pants. And then I really loved the coin under the coffee cup. I kind of wanted to see more tricks like that. I wanted to see a trick maybe with like your wallet or a trick with a deck of cards or a trick with a pencil, right? I wanted to see more props, more variety instead of just, I have two coins and now I have one and now I have none, right? Uh, so I really wanted more variety in that. Second negative for me was you can't download the videos. You can't download them and there's a ton of them. There's a ton of videos and they're not small files, they're long. So I really felt like it would have been nice to be able to receive at least one link where I could download all of them and watch them offline. But I'll go back to, is it worth your money? Absolutely. I know it's 200 bucks, but I really think that's gonna separate uh, the people who really want this and then from the people who just kinda like, kinda want it. Like, uh, you're gonna, if you do coin magic or if you wanna get into coin magic or at least you wanna look like you're good at coin magic, but you don't wanna put in all the years of practice. <laughs> I know that sounds bad to say, but I mean, it, it really does. I think this, these are so, these, these will cheat and help you cheat so badly because they're just that good. They look that good and the magic you can do with them is that strong. Well, that's everything I can say about Split Focus, Gregory Wilson, Murphy's Magic Supplies. I got mine from hocus-pocus.com and I wanna thank them for allowing me to have this so that I can do the review for you. Thanks guys, I'll see you next time, bye.